The Indiana Pacers hosted the New York Knicks Tuesday night in their final home game of the regular season. Well, a slow start, three close quarters, and a power outage led to what the Indiana Pacers called a weird game. It was a battle to the finish as the Indiana Fever faced off against the Phoenix Mercury Wednesday night here at Bankers Life Fieldhouse. Both teams looking to get their first win of the season. Indianapolis Colts punter Pat McAfee is here at Bankers Life Fieldhouse today to cheer on the Indiana Pacers as they take on the Toronto Raptors in game four of the first round of the playoffs. And Pat, you make it out to a lot of games throughout the season. What makes the playoff environment so special? The Pacers are now 0-3 in the regular season, and while the team continues to work out the kinks in their new offense, Paul George says defense was the main factor in tonight's loss. The Indiana Pacers hosted the Orlando Magic Thursday, and it was not a pretty night for the blue and gold. Tonight's Pacers game against the Miami Heat is also the inaugural Hickory Pacers night here at Bankers Life Fieldhouse. It's part of a season-long tribute to the 30th anniversary of the movie Hoosiers and Indiana basketball. Tailgates bring people together to cheer on their favorite teams and enjoy their favorite foods and drinks. Brittany is here to show us how you can throw a great tailgate party from start to finish with all Hoosier products. I'm here with actor and Oscar nominee Jesse Eisenberg. And Jesse, we know you're from your movies such as The Social Network and Zombieland, but we're not used to seeing you at Bankers Life Fieldhouse. What brings you the Indy into the game? Monday night's Pacers game against the Los Angeles Lakers marks Kobe Bryant's last time ever playing against Indiana. We talked to Pacers fans, Kobe fans, and even Lakers fans about some of their fondest memories of watching Kobe play over the last 20 years. Well, we are just two months out from the 100th running of the Indy 500, and we are celebrating IMS night here at Bankers Life Fieldhouse as the Pacers take on the Bulls. And I'm here with IndyCar driver Alexander Rossi. And Alex, this is actually your first Pacers game ever. What are your thoughts so far here at Bankers Life Fieldhouse and on Indy? The goal of Movember and No Shave November campaigns is to raise awareness and funds for men's health issues. But we're not limiting this segment to just the fellas. Hey fans, I'm Lauren Gray and I am so excited for the movie Captain America Civil War to hit theaters this summer. Adding to my excitement, Captain America and Iron Man will descend onto Victory Field and you won't want to miss out. This team has struggled to close out in close games like this before, but the team says their ability to make quality shots was the difference down the stretch. It was a battle to the very last second. Well, 0.3 seconds to be exact. The Indiana Pacers were down by two with 0.3 seconds left in the game, but were unable to score on their final possession, ultimately losing to the Los Angeles Clippers 91 to 89. George Hill led the Pacers in scoring with 23 points and five rebounds, and it was another big night for rookie Miles Turner. He earned his first double-double of his NBA career tonight with 14 points and 10 rebounds. Well, farmers markets have grown in popularity across the country country over the past two decades. The number of these local marketplaces has tripled in the last seven years and Indiana has been no exception. Ty Lawson made his return tonight after spraining his foot in his Pacers debut two weeks ago. He scored two three-pointers tonight, one of those at the buzzer at the end of the third, and his team said he contributed a lot tonight and really pushed the pace of the game. It's hard to believe, but there are just 10 home games left in the Pacers' regular season. And next up, the Pacers host the Toronto Raptors this Thursday, St. Patrick's Day, at 7. Reporting for Pacers.com, I'm Lauren Gray.